I'm gonna throw these dual monitors out the window. window. Nobody else will do this. Selling and buying is not enjoying. Enjoying is just enjoying what you do. You're standing, enjoy the standing. You I like looking at I like looking at you. So you enjoy it? I enjoy it. That's what's important. Where's Pop and Trev? Adrian, did you end up sending them to Vegas? They're on the flight already. They're on the flight already. <laughs> Staying on. Yesterday was uh, Marcus's. Do you have a hangover, darling? I need coffee. <laughs> okay. Please. Yeah, prefer preferably right here, Carol. Intervene. <laughs> you look better. <laughs> Things are not looking good for the home team. <laughs> you look better. <laughs> 30 bottles of tequila. I bought beer just in case that was gone. White Claw was gone. Champagne was gone. I know I stole six bottles of tequila. Oh, that's, is that, is that, is that, is that why? <laughs> Natalie. It was a good day. It was a rough day, but it was a good day. <laughs> this is a very, very important box of papers. So watch that cost $2 million. So you have to put this in the safe and make sure it does not get lost. It was a rough morning. Rough, rough evening and rough morning. If you need me, I'll be in my office, sleeping. Bang in. I know, I know you're not a big energy drink guy, but that's what it's all about, recovery. Bang, pina colada. Bang. I'm gonna start with coffee. There ain't no party like a Roman Sharf party. The Facebook group is up. About it. We only talked about it in the episode. I think that's airing today, right? So people will know about it. Oh, I can't even talk. Do you want the unboxing to go onto the Facebook group? Yeah, that's. I think that's what they want to do because what that does is it's really fresh. You know, like literally just came in and boom, five minutes later, it's on the Facebook page. You don't page. think it's gonna confuse things for sales? Like just, but it's it's honestly it's irrelevant. Like anything else in this company, it's first come first serve. Right? We get we get a product, we throw it up there. You still want to streamline it in a way that somebody needs to be responsible for the Facebook, somebody needs to be responsible for this, this, this. Okay, so who do you want to be responsible for Facebook in terms of putting product on there that we have received fresh? Uh, allocate that to Alex. Um, I, I, you know what I want to do? I want to ask Alex where he thinks Akib is because if he already figured out whatever he needed to come in and fill the shoes of Alex Ford it doesn't take an entire day. But Akib is not working on commissions yet, so... No, he's not. So what, what's his he incentive He can respond. His incentive is, this is his job. I this is what I'm telling him to yeah, do. but then, then you're going to take away commission from Alex. Anything that sells on that Facebook, nobody should be getting commissions. What does that have to do with anybody? It's well, just... Let me, well, let me ask you this. It's like somebody clicking buy now on a website. Well, no, it's not. Nowadays in our industry, especially with social media being so prevalent, one person can be working with a client on, on one watch and another salesperson could be working on the same watch with somebody else and sometimes it gets confusing. What's, what's going to happen is if you take the commission away from the Facebook leads, then your Facebook is not going to be full of, of, of sh for sale. Then why don't we just pull it? Make it a pool. Okay, do you, but do you want to bombard it like a moda type deal or do you want to do it no. just like little by little? It's, it's, not, it's not about bombarding it. I'm not trying to create a humongous... It's, it's literally a place for people to hang out, talk, and see the stuff as it's coming in live. Here, it's like instant gratification. This watch just came in. I literally saw it on unboxing in the morning. And boom, it's on the it's on Facebook. So you want to you want to just keep it like a social media thing. You don't you don't want to do it as, as a pure sales portal. You want to keep it. It's going to be both. No, it's going to be both. What I'm saying is like the main way you're trying to accomplish there is a community. Community. Be community. In phases. Exactly. A community. Because otherwise, then one of them can just sit there all day and bombard the Facebook group with shit. Exactly. So it depends what you that's want. That's not that. that's not what we want to do. Okay. I mean, so. I know Ian and his and his team. They want to put up, uh, you know bloopers, uh, scenes that we've shot that didn't make it into the episode. Because look, how much footage do they take versus how much footage actually makes it into the episodes, right? So let's say episode 10 comes out and then after that there's a scene that didn't make it in there, but it's a good scene. He can, you know, he can say, hey, yeah. missing scene from... That's that's good and everything, but what I don't want is it to take away from, from daily things because you're going to put bloopers on there, people are going to comment, we're going to be back and forth commenting with people. That's where Nick comes in, that's where Akib comes in, that's where... So they're going to be the ones answering Of course, movies. of course. I want people interacting with Nick, Ian, whoever it is, right? It's just, it's, it's, that's the whole point of that 
it's a community page, right? That's the idea, that's the idea behind it. That's sort of like that one place that allows them to all hang together and at the same token, see deals. That's it. Okay. Well, is that up live yet? It is. It's called Gray Market. On Facebook? Mm-hmm. I don't like the actual interface of Facebook anymore. That makes sense? Yeah, I guess. Plus, plus I go there to look at our luxury bazaar stuff and then I see something about freaking politics or... Yeah, yeah, because, because, <laughs> because, it, because it customizes... What is, because it customizes your feet. I, know, I, know. Man, I want to talk I about... So I, I wanted to talk about this um, concept and the, and the deal that you proposed to the younger partners. Okay, yeah, the, yeah. the grand comp that we bought, the skeleton. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The boys came up to me and they said, what do you think of this that Roman's trying to do? I said, well, let's talk about this first. What am I trying to do? I don't see. The, the, your plan. You probably don't even remember. F***ing remind me. You were trying to give it to a friend in New York with certain terms. Oh. Yeah. I, that was, that's that's going to be my last option. Because, your last option. Yeah. Because the way they presented it was that's your first option. Absolutely not. Okay. But I actually... F I had somebody else on it, so... I have, I have two people that I wanted to just kind of... Throw fishing hook. Well, out there. Oh, no, no, hold on a second. Anna's working on the watch with the guy that has. Yeah, the... I know, but I told her what the trading difference is realistically. What we want. What do you figure that watch is worth? That I skeleton? said I said five hundred thousand difference. Yeah, so you figured out watch one seventy five. Sure. It's exactly how or I figured it. One fifty or one seventy, but then it, 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 it's not about what we're taking in for. It's about the difference out of pocket that that guy needs to be. The valuation of our watch versus his is five hundred. I understand. Difference. So I actually want to talk to that guy on the phone. Okay. He's actually a fan of ours. How did this guy even come up with a conversation for this grand complication? He reached out to Anna. What, he saw the watch? Yeah, when we did the unboxing. Okay. Yeah, he saw it on unboxing and he's like, whoa, what's up with this? Let's do a trade. Let me, let me talk to Anna, let's see what she said. Are you wearing your sunglasses? Yes. At night? <laughs> yes. I'm In wearing my sunglasses at night. Big shout out to your husband yesterday. He didn't know what the f to clean at the end of the party. He's so OCD, it's the best. Can I borrow him for like a little bit? Oh, this will help, right? Before we left, I'm like... Shout out to your client. This stuff is just... It's mm. amazing. I mean, it, it doesn't amazing. look really good, but... It... Um, I want to get on the phone with the guy who wants to go and come. So do I. I actually just texted him and I said, do you have a minute <laughs> to talk on the phone? So we'll see. Look, his expectations were like 200 for the watch. Right. If he's going to oh, go... He's if he, calling if... me right now. Alright, pick up. Hello? Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yes, coffee. I think that's the wrong chair. F <laughs> uh, Everybody loves talking about the grind. Everybody loves talking about what it takes to make it in a business. This is not a story of someone trying to make it. We already made it. We're a $100 million company a year. We've already built a brand and a status within the industry, but that doesn't mean that we're done. Not only am I gonna show you some of the behind the scenes, I'm also gonna show you what it takes to run a $100 million company a year and take it to a $300 million company a year. It's really hard to keep a $100 million beast afloat and it's even harder to take it to the next level. So stay tuned and welcome to Gray Market. I'm gonna tell you what to do with it. Any packages could be get? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. Oh, you know. Being cool like I am. <laughs> Ala, what happened to your office? Wow. Are you gonna be lonely now that the boys are gone? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> okay, what the f is going on here? I like this. I like him. What's going on, Mike? Come on. What's happening? Mike, how are you? How you doing? Hello. Where's the... Where's Pop and Trev? I don't know. I'm lost today. Did they... Adrian, did you end up sending them to Vegas? They're on, it, uh, on the flight already. They're on the flight already? 
a Boeing 467. Pioneers used to ride these for miles. What's up, bro? How you living, Biggie Smalls? Uh, I'm living big, a little small though. We had a client that was in need of a watch that he was actually purchasing for a special event. Our armored armored carrier wouldn't ship the watch over in time, so I put Alex and Nick on a plane. I think your wire cleared. My wire. Oh yeah, did you see it for 120? Yeah, it, it came in. Eight wire came in for 120, but we can't seem to make out who it is. It came from. Yeah, Link. yeah, that's him. His name's David. There you go, Alex. Don't that's spend it all on one joint. So I'm gonna meet your guy at two o'clock. Uh, yeah. And then. Whatever, whatever he decides to do. All right, cool. I think everything's good though. Appreciate the the hookup. You got it. All right, I will talk to you when everything is done. All right, bro. All right, peace. Platinum Daytona Soul for 120. Yeah, we were literally fighting for Wi-Fi on the plane specifically for that deal. Uh, we figured while we were in Vegas, we might as well live it up a little bit and get a really fast car. There's a running joke uh, that Alex is the luxury baby because he is fresh. He'll be 22 in like two weeks. Um, that being said, you can't rent a car to anyone that's under the age of 25 without getting hit with a crazy fee. So uh, I'd rent the NSX. Uh, literally as soon as I pulled the Acura out of the garage, it started raining. Almost immediately. Um, and if you've ever driven a supercar before, they're not meant for rain. So once we got to the hotel, uh, our RM client actually called me and let us know that his flight was delayed because of this rain. It happens. But I am sorry for the delay, and if you do so well, I'll get you, I'll get you when I get, I'll update you when I, I have an update. No, don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, I'm here to, you know, deliver the watch to you, so just let me know what's going on, and I'll be happy to meet, meet up with you and do what we gotta do. So now I'm a little worried. Uh, it's way past the meeting time. He calls me, he says his flight is delayed. Uh, we've had previous history with uh, RM deals gone wrong. People bail on us last minute. The last thing I want is this guy to ghost me, so uh, I end up calling Adrian just to see what his thoughts are on it. Listen, I think I think even if he gets in a little bit late, we'll be able to meet him. Uh, and then I have to meet with my client around like 3.30, but either way, we'll, we'll be able to meet him and hopefully give him his, you know, watch. But if it's too late, then unless we have to stay another night, then that's, you know, that's up to you to decide. I mean, that's probably, um, just trying to think here. But do keep in mind, I do have to be home tomorrow or, well, no, I don't really have to, I guess. You can, like, someone can figure out, like, delivering the watch to my client or, well, he's going to pick it up, so whatever. If anything, I'll meet the guy, don't worry about it. Facts, facts. All right, well, so also, um, I, <laughs> you guys gonna cover uh, our exotic car rental? <laughs> cover your exotic? I'll, 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 I'll cover your hospital today. All right. Was I shooting in your ass? Listen, listen, <laughs> it was, it was $1,200, so I'll take that in PayPal, uh, whatever you guys, you, whatever you guys wanna pay it out in. I want you to come sit in my dad's office and be like, will you cover my <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be sure to do that. You can bring that up to my pops, because my pops is who everybody fears in the office, and see what his thoughts would be on that. So Gary's going to kill us. Yeah, if, nah, I, I wouldn't ask for that. That was sort of our own, our own decision, yeah. just for the video. Just Any, for the funds. Anything for the video. Hey Roman, can you come here right now? What's up? Bro, I, 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 I am li like, I can't do this right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw these dual monitors out the window, window in a second. Why? Because I keep getting thrown out, I keep having, I've been spending an hour on these flights. Nobody else will do this. You look frustrated. Adrian? 
we got we got thrown out of flights. We're gonna have to completely redo all this because unless you wanna fly with a stop. Can I just call Amex on this? We don't wanna fly with this. Okay. okay, can I just call Amex on this? Why are you doing it through here? <laughs> we need to leave on the twenty first and we need to come back on the twenty sixth. I understand. Okay, Alex can fly with the stop if he has I'm not it has nothing to I'm booking you guys. Do four. I understand. I understand. I'm just telling you like for the future. I have very little patience in the morning because the morning is always such a crazy, crazy rush. There's so much to be done. And for some reason, I was allocated a task of booking flights for all of us for an upcoming show. I am very focused in on what I have to do right now. If I get thrown off this American Airlines site one more time, both monitors well, no, why are going is, out Why is window. this $6,000? Four people, round trip, business class. Hold on a second. So... Uh, First of all, Alex doesn't have to fly business class. No He's book. not. I'm not booking Alex. Me and Alex are booking completely separate. So who are you booking? I'm booking my mom, Ala, my dad, and Sasha. I was I was given this task. And who died and made you the travel bitch? I don't know. Apparently, I'm the travel bitch now. An hour of business lost. <laughs> Call Amex. It, they do it for you. I'm, I'm, I'm already, like, at this point, this is a mission, and I'm not, like, giving up. Get the Luke to do it. He ain't doing shit. Sit in the corner over there. <laughs> So this is Vegas. Now, are you you gonna stay there for IWJG? Yeah. Chacha. Are you gonna Are you gonna stay there for Antico now? I'm gonna let you take a guess. That would be a solid. <laughs> uh, that would be a hard no. <laughs> well, you're one for one today. I actually wanted to talk to you about the July show in Miami. So the boys don't want to go to Miami in July with jewelry. I don't. I. I, I know I you agree. don't. I, I know you don't want to go. But can we take an analytical approach to this for change? We can. So I'm gonna let you finish playing travel bitch, and I'll, I pulled up a couple of reports in my office. So can you come select, to my office one day? Select your gen gender unspecified. <laughs> yeah, put that put that for Alex. <laughs> My dad's gonna come in there and be like, you're unspecified. <laughs> <laughs> Bald ass middle aged male. <laughs> hey, don't assume. So how long do you need? Uh, I hope another five minutes. Uh, let me stay here then, <laughs> just, just to make sure. Oh man. What is this the papers to? Uh, you're, Alec Craig. You're, you're Alec Craig. You're Alec By the way, did Eddie ever call you back on Alec Craig concept? Yeah. What do you say, no? Yeah. I'm like, two for two today. <laughs> Let's keep going. He said no? He said no. Okay, I'm gonna return it. Absolutely. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, here we go, loading. I don't wanna look. Your trip is booked. <sighs> Wait, your trip to Philadelphia to Kazakhstan has been booked. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> oh, All right, can God. we go to my office, please, and talk about the other show? Come on. <sighs> Man, one hour to book four tickets it took me, one hour. Thank you very much, Las Vegas, and your conventions. <laughs> Think they'll let us in? Nick, we got you a ride right here. This almost looks like the NSX. It does. Just a little bit. Brando. Oh, what's up, what's up, dude? How's it going? What's up, bro? Nice yeah. to meet you, Yeah, you man. too, for sure. Uh, Nick. Brando, Brando. Hey, Brando. Uh, so while the RM deal was still in the back burner, uh, my other client was actually waiting for us in the lobby. So we decided to meet with him so I could deliver his platinum Daytona to him. Where the watch turned oh out gosh. absolutely incredible. It looked perfect. Literally, yeah, literally perfect. Brand new. So, so it's got all the plastic on it right now. Okay. You can take it off. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, dude, it came out yeah. absolutely fantastic. If you want to take the plastic oh, for wrap sure, off yeah. too, here I'll. Oh, you, you want to help me? Too. Course. Yeah, it's like it's crazy because I got told that I was coming here yesterday. Oh, really? And it just so happened that it was the yeah. same day we were gonna ship this out, so it kind of worked out perfectly. But yeah, I mean that just looks absolutely incredible. That's crazy. When, when the light hits. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's beautiful from like absolutely all angles. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Congrats, seriously. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, seriously. hard, awesome. work, hard work, you know. Hard work, hard work exactly. Pays off. Yeah, that's yeah. Gonna, you're gonna look at that every day and really <laughs> be like, holy. Like, all I right. Did this. Um, but yeah, you have all your paperwork in here. Okay, so cool. Yeah. You have the card. Um, as you can see, it's 2020. Okay. So, yeah. There we go. July. So. Sounds good. 
It's all good. For sure, yeah. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All right, sweet. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna close this up. It's a it's big box. Up. Yeah. It's Normally easy. they're they're a little exactly. smaller. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to give you the XL. So. <laughs> So, so are you guys flying back tonight? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, I think so. Okay. It, it all depends on if this guy actually shows up. Yeah. Um, so if he shows up, then we'll fly out of here today yeah. and, you know, everything will be good. Yeah. If not, then I have to stay here until tomorrow. Okay. Which I don't really want to do. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> I actually have, a, I have to go deliver another one of these tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. Uh, so, so do you guys mainly do business on the East Coast, or do you guys do like? Is it pretty? No, so we we're worldwide. Okay. Uh, we have an office in Hong Kong as well. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So, but for like things like this, sometimes it's better to uh, I guess hand deliver them than ship them. Yeah. Um, just I'm just more in case it's lost or something. Or? No, it's oh. just because uh, the main reason was this guy has a, a, an event for Richard Neal tonight. Oh, okay. In Vegas. Oh, so really? He was like, I need this watch today. Private event tonight. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what do you, what do you, um, what I, business are you in? I, I, I trade stocks for a living. Okay. Uh, let's go this one. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing it for uh, 11 years now. 11 years? Yeah. Wow. So I started when I was 19 and I'm 30 now. That's awesome. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Congrats on all your success. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Awesome you you, you ever have any questions, you, you can text me. Yeah, for sure. So Brandon was super cool. He got a beautiful watch. I'm definitely going to text him about some stock tips. Um, let's talk about the show. Let's do it. So, and I love me some stale Chipotle chips. Oh, it's great. It. Oh, wait, there's a customer holding. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Probably not anymore. Whoops, he'll call back. You're going to like this purchase. You're going to be proud of me. Great I'm moving up. Great in, customer service. I'm, move, I'm moving up in this world. Great customer service. I didn't buy a Rolex AP Paddock or RM. What'd you buy? I can't tell Just you. Just give me the brand. Huh? At least give me the brand. Starts with a P. Piaget? Nope. I'm not telling you. Protect Philippe? I told you, it's I, not Paddock. It's a high complication. Philip Line? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about how much is it? I'm not saying. Well, I kind of need to know if, you, if it's expensive. No, no, it's not. Very I mean, affordable. outside of... It's a very affordable Outside of Piaget, Patek Philippe, Paul Picot, uh, what else? Uh, I can't think of another P brand. Parmigiani? It's not Parmigiani. I mean, uh, that's nice. I hope not. <laughs> what is it? Panorang? Nope. <laughs> the f I can't think of another P brand. What, am, I drawing, am I drawing a blank here? It's very off the beaten path. Very off the beaten path. But it's a good, it's a good one. Something? Um, P brands, P brands. I think we just named them all. All right. Parallel. You bought a Parallel? You you got room to talk, sir. <laughs> Which Parallel did you buy? Minute repeater. Okay, I like the sound of that. Pun intended. <laughs> and you paid under 10000 Say no more. Can we talk about the show now? All right, so I, I kind of agree with right. what you're saying. Hey, oh, look Hello. at that. You ready, you ready to be on the show? <laughs> um, Hi, Am. <laughs> It also Yo, looks look, 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 look at how she rolled in. Look, what's up, boys? How are you? How you doing? All right. Hi, babe. Hi, All right, so what do I gotta do? I gotta change the strap on so this one, and I gotta clean your watch. Let's start with let's start with this guy. You can take that and keep it. Well, right? I need to because it's just yeah, that's this, what you said. this is take just nasty. Do you, no. It's totally right. Come on now. <laughs> this do you do you keep or? No, I can put the strap on for you. Awesome. Which do you know which one he wanted on though? Rubber. Rubber. Okay. Give me one second. I'm not only the founder. I'm the resident watchmaker. Where are my glasses? He can, he, they can touch whatever they want. It's okay. If they, if they break it, Lance will buy it. Guys, you can touch whatever you want. That is an old spy camera. What's this? What's what? Don't that, touch. What, that? That big yellow thing? No, the gun. That, the gun. That, is that would be a, a very old gun. So it's like a mini camera. You know how you have an iPhone that you can take pictures with? Yeah. Well, back when there were no iPhones, yeah. you had to deal with stuff like that. You know, so well, you know we're kind of. So you put so you put film in there, right? Oh. And once you put the film in there, you shoot your pictures, 
and then uh, you have to go and like develop. How do you explain that to this? How do you explain developing pictures? It's like, do you know what a VCR is? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah it's, it's just a cool gadget. Well, before digital cameras, you had regular cameras that used film. And that's about as far as I can explain it right about now. <laughs> He's videoing you. And now he just got a big shot of Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment at Luxury Bazaar. That is a key to wind that clock. The blue one was confetti with poop on it. No. Nice. Yeah, what is with these five-year-olds uh, infatuated with poop? Like that, all the jokes are with poop. It's it's it's, it's, it's like a whole it's like a whole thing. <laughs> Yo, this episode is going to be the best. <laughs> Well, honestly, around here, it kind of anything goes on, oh, so wrong. we're good. Oh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get that open, Greg. I promise you. I promise you. Good try, though. Hey Siri, FaceTime Lance One SEO. So, I got two monsters in my office, right? Where they at? Come here. Oh, what? Well, look, look, he's hiding behind me. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> one tried to lock me out of my own safe. The, 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 the other one's trying to figure out what a camera does. You know, the, he doesn't grasp the concept of a film camera, right? It's, it's the best. No, got, gotta love funny. kids. All right, so I got you on the rubber strap on this. I also, I also got you a new one of these. I'm going to throw this one out because it looks like shit. I gave Emily the second one, so whenever you want to change over, like in a winter, let's say if you want to go to leather, just pop in. All right? So, you know what? That's a letter opener. Be careful with that. Uh, yeah, actually, you can. Bye, boys. Thank I'll see you later. Thank you, Marvin. No problem. Now that that's done, we got one more watch to get out. And then uh, once that watch is out, we're going to hopefully go home. But right now, it's not looking too good. It looks like we're going to have to stay another night. Oh, wow. I know, right? Um, in the meantime, let's go take this car out and uh, enjoy it. Yeah, we didn't expect how much pep this thing would have. Um, our heads literally hit the back of the seats, and I could not stop laughing. So we dropped the car off. Our RM client finally arrived. He gave me the call, shot over there as soon as possible to meet up with him and deliver this watch so we could get our asses out of Vegas. A year and a half in the making. A year and a half in the making. Holy sh very cool man <laughs> so i always wanted one of his one of the early rms okay because the plastic stuff is i mean what it is mm -hmm. but to me this is like foundational right exactly so this is really cool so the v2 is when he started messing around with carbon which is what he's famous for now right yeah and so they changed the the back plate from titanium to carbon mm -hmm. with this model. And I believe from what Adrian was telling me, this is an early V2. Yes. Which is super cool. Amazing, brother. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And your flight's at eight? Yes, yes. So, so you kind of need to get the out of here. We're, yes, we're leaving. <laughs> you, you also need to get out of here too, correct? Yeah, I got, a, I got, a, I got an event that I'm gonna wear this to. Yes, that's why we're here. This is beautiful as well. <laughs> oh, thanks, brother. I have a thing for black dials. I'm gonna have to talk to Adrian about how to switch out bands. Um, definitely, definitely. Worst case scenario, we'll fly back to you and we'll, we'll change it out. Right? We can meet in <laughs> Vegas. We can meet in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> yeah, for a, a little bit longer than this five minute meeting. Uh, Hi, you. man. Well, I know you need to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Seriously. Pleasure. Pleasure, man. Seriously. We did what we had to do. Pretty sure I've said this before, but I'm running on very little sleep. We've been awake for quite a long time. We got some deals done. That's all that matters. Now it's time to go back home. Getting picked up in the whip now. <laughs> you want something to drink? Do you want a water or a drink? Sure. Carol, can I have a water, please? Let's go, on, brother. Long time no see. Come on in. Yeah. You, you, you on candid camera. What's up? <laughs> <laughs>
we got something special that we put together. I don't know if I should tell you the backstory, but I'm gonna let you look at it and then read it. I wanna look at it first. Digest it, yeah. Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy. I've been, I actually yeah. wanted to reach out to him. The Bazaar Baikal. Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in the world. I know that. It's also the largest lake in the world. This is sick. Who is this guy? Because I want to shout him on Instagram. Space or not? Space or not, right? Bruce this is insane. To do it and here we are, you know? So it's all his work. He's amazing. Um, like I said, just help with creative direction. I can actually tell what most of these parts are, which is yeah. insane. I mean, for somebody that knows, well, I mean, you, are, you, are, you of all people will know that as well. Thank you. This is sick. This guy's a watch designer. So he's designed watches for like major brands and and blah blah blah. Don't let his young age fool you. So <laughs> so he's like a, he's, young, a so. he's a legitimate designer and his his IG is the watch designer. So yeah, I met him on IG. Yeah yeah we met this what like show. seven years ago yeah. six years something like that yeah. Mm. Um, All this stuff I've collected over the years just like antique shows and like. But I think there will be a day one day where either Max will start stop making these and people will appreciate it and. They're already appreciating. If you look at yeah. some of the older stuff, like the robots and the, and uh, some of the, they're, they're up there for a lot of money. Uh, but uh, I said it, I said like this: when I'm gone, it's his pieces that are going to be fetching the buku dollars. It's just too hype now. People get over the meaning. People, will, there's going to be a time where even the kids that are in the hype are going to get past this stuff in the next few years, and they're going to want to get into these things. And and then he's not probably not gonna be making. But I feel like or, it's a, it's up yeah. to guys like us, right? Sure. So I hated used to hate the concept of influencer, and I used to take that with a grain of salt. Like, right. oh, I'm an influencer, and then it kind of dawned on me that if I'm able to influence somebody without a bias, meaning that I don't want to influence anybody to buy from me, right? Even though it happens anyway, because right. people want to buy our product because right. they see us, they follow us, they trust us, right? But if at some point I can influence some masses. Right. to say, look guys, look at the value behind an MBNF. Take any single one of them, right? I don't care which machine you pick, from the first ones to the last ones. If you look at the value behind that from a design perspective, from a horological perspective, from you know of how it's made perspective, right? Yeah. I mean, if you look at some of the bigger boys, you know, a lot of the stuff is not exactly handmade, right? It's not not produced the way it used to be. Where you look at a lot of these independents, you know, like a Grubel, right? And we got one person putting together one watch for, for nine months. Yeah. So, eventually, if I can influence that aspect of things, then I think I've done something. Well, good. There's too much hype, I guess, on particular pieces psychologically whether the brands understand it or not, or whether they're doing it on purpose or not, they come to us um, and they just want us to copy those hype pieces. So no longer am I in the game because I'm pa I'm passionate and I want to do the design work, right? But it gets to the point where I what do you need me for, right? If I'm gonna yeah, like it just and it becomes these collector group things. Like, oh, if well, if a bunch of collectors will come by and and. Uh, pay outright for 25 watches and they just want us to change some colors, what do we need you for? So when there's the art is gone in a sense, right? And there's no longer let's innovate, right? Or yeah, it's just, it sucks because then not just me, but other design, my colleagues were just like, okay, well, we don't, we just want to create the art, right? And why are we sitting here kind of playing this game between the brands and the collectors yeah, listen, and the you, dealers? You, I'm not a watch that. designer, but if you, if, you, if you send me over to anyone, send me over to Paddock, I'll take their existing models, I'll change some color right. combinations around as I see fit best in the demand I know. You know, yeah. as a seller of watches, I can design. I don't them. think you're doing anything wrong, so I'm not yeah. saying you, but yeah. I, no, I'm saying that, because um, you're, you're not doing the hype, it's the people who are buying, I think, I don't want to say the collectors are the problem, some people say that's wrong for me to say, but in some ways they are the problem because I think people have missed the understanding that watches are no longer um, a needed thing. You know what it's I mean? It's no longer a tool. As yeah, it used to exactly. Be. So it's just art at this point, right? And um, well, no, I, I wouldn't just leave it at art. I would leave it at art and also the horology aspect. Of yeah, it. yeah. I mean, but that's the, all. At the, art. at the end of the day, some of the stuff, which is why I started talking about independence, specifically M B N F. It's at right. the end of the day, the stunts that you pull, right? Unfortunately, a lot of people. What do you mean the stunts? The stunts horologically, like, you know, some of the newer stuff, some of the innovation. Oh, that oh goes like, into okay. So I mean, like a marketing stunt. No, or no. Something. I'm talking okay, about strictly like from a horological yeah, perspective. Sure. Some of this, you know, a lot of the, some of these watches come out, right? And people look at the latest M B N F and they're like, Wow, that looks so cool it looks like sure. spaceships look like a car this that yeah and i think eight out of at least seven out of ten of them don't even take the time to read like just on a website the yeah, description you know. of what the movement every is every time and what people look at me and they're like 
They yeah. don't. They, they they just love this thing exactly, but they have, they have no, no idea, idea what, what you know what Felix right. had to do to make that. I yeah, mean, it's absolutely. Just, it's insane. Yeah, like that watch is just like again from a horological perspective, it's mind blowing. But at the same token, right. it's a dope ass looking watch. So you can get a client, and this is what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah. You can get a client to buy that just because it looks sick, different, weird, whatever you want to call it. But you're also get, gonna get a client that's gonna say, "I don't give a shit what it looks like. Yeah, right. It's what's sure. inside, right?" Sure. You realize none of the watches in that market help those people. Actually, they hinder them and they hurt them more than they help them. You don't think back in the '60s the the, oh, it, the Omegas? No, and even then, not really. No. They used they yeah, legitimately Acutron, used them to to yeah, time. Yeah, but an Acutron was way better than any Omega ever made. Right. Even then. But you know what I mean? But they were just marketing. They gave them enough money. They paid for events. They gave them free gold watches. Like, why not? You gotta understand, NASA is not an agency um, that's doing serious business all the time, or it is now, before they used to just be there to, right. you know, fund, you know, it's big contractors and steal. Going, going to the lowest bidder. Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 not, no, not, no, no, they, no, it was the other way around. They, yeah. yeah, they used to just like, hand out money to anybody to make whatever, right? Well, and well, just to the Congress if, if and friends, when you go into that. space, who would you... So free gold watches from Omega, this and that? Sure, I'll take them. You're going to pay for my event and this and that? Hell yeah. You know, it's... Omega was just paying for shit, So yeah. they were just there. You know what I mean? Well, so, which watch at that time do you think should have been to space? Accutron, for sure. Accutron. They were already in the SR-71s. The, the, the CIA had no interest in um, branding or doing any of that stuff. They were literally, literally making planes and... Space suits and every, every from the screw to the shoe to everything was for astronauts. So the Accutron made sense. It was the most accurate watch. Sure, so um, did you see the remake that just came out? Yeah, I love it. It's I have sick. two of them. Oh, you do? You yeah, bought yeah. one? I love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah. And uh, that's the real. Sh you know what I mean? To me. And so, uh, do you want to talk about genius on camera or no? Yeah, why not? I mean, let's talk about it. So to, he, yeah. so just as a backdrop, he is been working on designing his own brand. It's called Genius. It's a watch brand. He's a watch designer by trade, so he's been design working on designing his own watch. Yeah. But his whole thing was is has to do with space, and also at the same token, uh, he wants it made in the U.S. I want it. Yeah. I mean, eventually I would like to. I think uh, so. I started, um, and so I the idea started in 2015, and um, I saw the first rendering. Yeah, yeah. Like, Two years, three years later. later. Yeah, 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 exactly. But the I, the initial idea and kind of getting everything together and figuring out how I'm going to do this um, started in 2015. And at that point, I was kind of frustrated with the watch industry. I think I'm more frustrated now, but then I was pretty frustrated. Um, That's because you know all the dirty ins and out of the Yeah, industry. it's hard. As an artist, as a creative, even as a musician, I yeah. relate a lot of my struggles with the watch industry with hip-hop and stuff because you're an artist in an industry full of, you know, big corporate um companies and yeah so um i'm working on this design with uh, an independent brand i can't say because the guy's ego is so big he can't really tell anyone that he helped them out but one of the guys that um works for that brand i was having lunch with him the other day and i asked him i was like what's your favorite watch like grail watches and that right and he looked at me he actually opened my eyes in a way i never really thought of and i'm sure you can relate after this um and after what you said he says, I don't have a favorite watch, but he says, with each brand, I have a favorite time. Meaning, like, just like you said, there's certain CEOs that are around, they do great things, and another CEO comes in and just f shit up, right? And then another CEO comes in and makes it better, right? It's just I never looked at it that way, you know? It's yeah, funny. me neither. I was like, oh, damn. I started, now, when he said that, like a Rolodex started going through my mind of all the brands I've worked for. Right, and, and, all the and, and what the I've years had. are. and Yeah, yeah, and it just. Uh, well, how, what's, nowadays, what's, then what's your favorite time from Roger the Wii? Um... It's tough, man, because I'd say it's really dope where they're going now, especially after I was with them the past few days. Um, but yeah, my favorite time was the Sympathy, those vintage, you know, I, I love they're that coming, stuff. In. They're coming on strong as right now. Yeah. Prices are cl climbing through the roof. And shout out to our boy Jason Sarkoyan, also known as the watch designer. He is one of the most knowledgeable people in our industry in regards to understanding how the watch actually works inside. The movements, all the elements, case design, everything. And his company, Genesis, is unbelievable and I wish him all the best. All right, coming out, bro. Good seeing you, bro. Looking forward to seeing you. Uh, we'll see yeah. you in LA. Most definitely. The next day, while the boys were on a red eye, me and Roman got called to New York to show a very important watch to a client. It is 11.19 a.m. on a Friday. We were supposed to leave the office at 9.30. Got to meet with our guy, showing the Grand Comp. He wants to do lunch. 
Yeah, so we have to figure that out. I say before we I pull mean, up to New York, we just meet him at Nobu and make it quick. And then I also want to stop and see Avi for this. Yeah. You do understand that for us to be back by 7. Oh, we got we to be in and out. We're going to realistically have two hours on 47th Street at best. First stop we made in the Big Apple was Nobu. Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. The restaurant that never misses. Hi, we have a reservation at 1.30. Alright, thank you. After a fantastic lunch and a few drinks at Nobu, it was time to head over to 47th Street to do some business. Right there. <laughs> How are you, bro? Excuse me, you're the artist formerly known as Flawless. Back outside? <laughs> Back uh, on this side? We, we, had a, uh, we had a meeting, a couple of RMs here and there. How'd it go? Went well. Bought, bought three RMs. There he is. And, the guy, uh, the myth. Adiel. Adiel. What's up, brother? How are you? Adiel. Adiel. Did I just come? Sure. Where are you? You keep moving around and shit. I have to go. I have to drop something off at Avi's. And where, which exchange are you in now? Mezzanine. Mezzanine. Not second floor. Yo, mezzanine. What does that mean? That means you go one flight up with the stairs. We're going to 51. So that's where Avi is. Yeah, that's where Avi is. He's on the second floor. Okay, I'll stop. By, I'll stop by and see. You. Greg, I'm gonna see you later, bro. I gotta run. China, what's up? I feel like crap. Uh, how you doing? So listen, you're going to Avi's now. No. How long are you going to be there? 15 more minutes. Okay, so you take one flight down, that's mezzanine. One, he's on a fourth, no, he's on a, Avi's on a, what the fuck floor is he on? Avi's on a second floor. Second floor, so I just walk down a flight of stairs? One, go elevator, walk down. Okay, all right, I'll all come, right. I'll come I got down. stuff for you. All right. all right. I need his stuff for it real, real. We're not going to do this right now, or? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what time. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to spend too much time at Avizo. In, in and out. How you doing? Nice content. Thank I you. Thank it. you. I I'm gonna. I'm gonna be in and out. Two minutes, and uh, right. we're here. Hi. How are you? Hello. There he is. Is that live? <laughs> That's him going to see producer Michael. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he went to LA. Is that Roman? What's up, guys? Uh, I told Avi I was going to come by for a minute. I need to sell him one watch, possibly another. And then, here's it. Uh, this, 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 this is going to this is going on my bag. safe. Let me see. <laughs> going on my safe. <laughs> Let me see. Open the bag. What, sure. what is in the bag? Open the bag. Come on, man. Yeah, well, you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 it doesn't matter. In, uh, you can, it doesn't matter what that money like is. That, yeah? You know what I mean? Like nobody, it's one of one. You got an auction deal. record of 504,000 mm -hmm. on that very watch. You know. This week, sure. It's called a Richard Mill. What you know about that? Oh, somebody, what happened? You called me to the other half? I got that. What did you commit to him? What is this? Mickey Mantles? He's the key, Krasavs. The French. What is that called? PSG? How much are you asking now? Three. 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 
Man. Am I wrong? You're right. I just don't see nobody buying it. I didn't know what margins I work on. So you I wouldn't even pay for it. I wouldn't even pay for it. Being honest. Sell me. I don't see it. Bro, but it's, still, it's a limited edition. It's a good looking watch. You can't fucking find it. Bro, you don't have to sell him on it. You know, when you, you, know what I mean? you know what it is. Come on, you know what it is. No problem. What's the number here? Bro, you, 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 you wanna, you wanna hurt me, man. No, I don't wanna hurt me. I'm just trying to. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a welterweight. You're trying to be a well heavyweight over well, here. Let, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? You know what the best part about Avi is, and and you have something very good in common. You got a Roman by your side. <laughs> I will give you that. That's true. <laughs> Having a Roman by your side is good. Honestly, I'm asking for the Le Mans. I just sold an eleven for. I'd rather buy the 11. Nah. Why? First of all, that has a limited edition two straps. Do you know <laughs> look at the, look, at the, look at the limited why? straps. Because you'd rather get the regular one. Nah, the rather, one. I... So we picked up this RM11 Rose Gold Le Mans, and the RM11 editions prior to the 1103 had a different strap. So this watch actually came half 1103 strap, half 11 strap. This is the stuff that's going to continue going up because it's limited. The other stuff, there's a dime a dozen. So that's, I think this is a much, I think this should be, but people don't like that green. Like this is the only. You put that on the green strap, which I know you have. Yeah. On a dark green strap, not the lime yeah, one. My thing it's is fire. My thing is, is y'all had the other half of the strap somewhere here. Oh, you do. <laughs> I'll buy this strap. You want to sell me the strap? Do you have the other half of the strap? Yeah, I do. Somewhere here. I threw that bitch in here. So. Yo, this is sick right here. No, but on a bracelet, it's ridiculous. Why? Well, let's make some trades. You want to sell the strap? No, it goes to well, this. Not even the right I, 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 came, I came to a place like this. Where's the other? I need to sell you a strap. Who cares? I have one. This is the nicest strap. Oh. Uh, I, I, like I, the, I like the ones with the hole, the newer ones, not that one. No, I like that one. So, how was your trip so far? You want anything today? Here? Yeah. No. A lot. Here in New York? Yes. I don't buy from here in New York. We, we meet people here we in meet New York. Here. We and we came to them. see you. And we come to the you Always you come, you make us money. Basically, we make money as a finder's fee. Oh, we found great. it, then go to Avi and Roman, and then we get cut our commission. Oh, your friend is calling. Who? Look at the camera before you talk, boy. <laughs> Didn't I just see you? I'm asking you because I know you're hearing. What's up? Are there any 40 millimeters available? Which ones? Yellow. Yes? Yeah, yeah. walk dial. Actually, I think he just sold it. Oh, my my, apo my apologies. We're in his we boutique, so, we, so yellow, he, mu he right? must sell. Hold on. That's why he's Give me yeah, a number. What's up? He's the original flawless. It's very tough to buy deals, bro. You can't buy nothing. Bad users, that's it. We're, we're, very, we're very fair. What's it's not about being fair. You want to make money, I want to make money. There's no room. Hello. What are we doing here, boys? Nice Let's figure this out real quick, because we got to go. We got to get out of this. Are you coming to Miami this weekend? Yeah, I'm going Sunday. We're going Sunday. tomorrow. How do you like that shit? That Shabbat is tomorrow, bro. What are how you do doing? You, how do you like that shit in the f***ing building? Oh my so, God, it's about it, I feel so bad for this Yo, let me ask you a question. You know what? That's why I say every day you gotta enjoy life, no matter what it is. That's why I want to come to Avi and I want to sell watches and live my life. Selling and buying is not enjoying. Enjoying is just enjoying what you do. You're standing, enjoy the standing. You're I like looking at. I like looking at you. So you enjoy? I enjoy. That's what's important. I'll go ahead. And, and what the back platinum off for a turn? Lower. Of course. You know okay. what it is? Too many nicer options. Nicer? At what, that price? What's nicer than this for the money? It's too heavy. Uh, this is not heavy? No, no this, this, this is heavy. heavy. But you know what? I fucking love it. No, I'm saying. Artie used to wear it all the time. I used to fucking say, yeah, I want that one. I want that one. How you doing? I'm huh? Oh, just let me here. Let me cook it. Put it in the oven. Maybe I... <laughs> I literally just picked it up. Let me take it home. I can sell it too. Did I pay you? Huh? Did I want to pay you? Oh man, listen, it was found money. The scars are us walking the streets of 47th Street. True That's story. Scars are. True story. Where's that membrane box? Uh, since you like those stupid watches, I'm gonna show you one AP that. Come on, I'll buy it. You're not gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy uh -huh. it. You're not gonna buy it. Yeah. Rowan, give yeah. me that AP. All right, we're done here. Let's go. Gotta go. I'm gonna look at a stupid AP first. Yeah. The ugliest, most expensive AP you I've ever seen. Five pieces though, in the world. I know the watch. You know the watch? You wanna, you wanna laugh? I've owned this watch for $65,000. Actually not ugly and not stupid, this watch. You have box papers with it? I have heap, archive papers, no box. The box I have. Take a picture of this? Sure. You can even sell it. Listen, you never know with this type of watches. You always find that one person in the world that might want it. It's only five of them, right? Did you guys post this yet or no? No, it was about to soon. Unless you tell me not to, so. oh my. Which is the reason why you should buy the Grand Comp. I'll post it for you. 
Hang on. Leave it here. We have somebody for it. Really? Like somebody wants it at more than what I offered to you for it. Amazing. Trays that, bro, it's it's a one-off. Same thing as this. Except it's a lot more attractive than this. Yeah. This is ugly. So ugly. Very ugly. But people got different tastes. What's ugly to me can be the most beautiful thing to another. Yeah. Go ahead, wash your hands real quick. If I shake Roman Sharp's hands, I gotta. <laughs> I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. All right, fellas, thank you for shopping with Avi and Co. Don't be thank shy you for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Don't, don't be shy to come again. Doors are always open. Always for you guys. do. Always do. See you guys later. It is four o'clock. Let's go down a, a, a flight of stairs. Well, that was uh, fruitful. Okay. Mezzanine. Excuse me, gentlemen. Is this Midtown Watch? Am I in the right, am I, am I in the right place? Oh, 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 where's the camera? Where's the camera? The camera is here. I know what I want to buy already. I did hear it. He said he's going to be here. He said, told me to come down. I was at Avi. He's like, just come down one flight of stairs and boom. What's up, guys? I will start with Montoya's Naked, right? Papers. Papers. How much? 21.5. They're supposed to come with a uh, Montoya box, correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so let this guy in. I think he owns the place. Yo, Ariel, what's the uh, number on the gold one? Give a price on these two. Naked. This one is 2,500. Oh, Bus papers? No. The band is hello? not enough you know, for my WC. I see that. Yes, hello? I'll flip how much 4,300 is. How much, how much are we looking You have three of them. I buy all three for 12,000. <laughs> yes? Yeah, what's up, big time? How much? 2180 Box papers? Thank you. I will pass. But thank How you. Much? Nah, I just don't want it naked. I paid 21,000. You did not okay. <laughs> yes. Roman. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What's our what's our goal here? We have we got it. It's 4:20. We have to we have, you have to spend time here. We don't have time. I, I need 20 minutes here. Honestly. What are you gonna do? I need 20 minutes here. How much? Wait, you bought you bought this on Circa? Yeah. Yeah. I bid on it. <laughs> would you would you end up paying for it? 95. Would you say it was yeah. a? I bid I bid uh, 80 uh, 501. 501. Okay. Okay, so 12 and 6 is 18 and 10 is 28. 4,000 I give you. That's cheap. Box papers? No. no. Let me see. Yes. Box papers. Uh, okay. Box papers, yes. How much is this? 4800 That's That's pricey, bro. For that. How much is this blue? The blue one, believe it or not, Rolex changed the dial themselves. Ah, so it was black? Yeah. So there's no service card, though? No. So how did they just change it for how. you like that? Honestly, they did. I have papers. Well, how do you know they changed it? Mike. My customer went there on his name, papers. Mike. And they gave him the black dial back. Yeah, who yeah. Or they gotta give a service card with it. They didn't. I'm telling Maybe you. Maybe because they gave him back the original dial? It's 38,000. Yeah, I mean. Um, the Pasha automatic, how much is that? Come around yeah. The yellow? 8,200. 7,500? Jewels, I know them, yes. How about this? Have you seen this? With papers only. Uh, watch Central's polished already. Put it in the baggie. What are you getting on it? Okay. 44,000. 13. 44? Yeah. Do I have the papers? 2167. Huh? Yeah. 2167, eh? 44,000? Can you do 4250 on it? Okay. Mazal? It's a dog that brace it. I know, I know. 43? 43? 43. Let me see. 13, yes. You gotta, you gotta learn his cost code. I know, I know his cost code. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you make 6,000. If the price works for me, it works. It doesn't matter. I'll ask Mike who wants to do 43.5. We have a customer that has to pick up a 44.5. 43.5? 44.5, I have a customer. 43.5, you want to give him? I don't want to wait. Did he buy anything else? Yeah. All this. Okay. Oh, it's like that. You got to buy something else. Just go from the bottom to the top. Yep. Uh, 53.5. That's 14.2. Uh, 20,200. That's expensive because it's stickered up. I'm going to go Tony on you. Oh, uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> 2,000 for the stickers. 20, 21. 36 for that. This one, 36. This is that page. Uh, yeah. 36 for 36? 30, yeah. 36. 1,000 per millimeter. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you want to take the white one also? White gold? We can do something together. So that's like got to be much cheaper. A little bit cheaper. Now How much? 78. And. Wait, is that true? 
Oh, yeah. is that true? <laughs> if you looked at his why cost, is, code. why does this cost me more? How much is that pen, right? Luminor. The 40? Yeah. How'd you, I didn't even know. I didn't even notice okay. that. Okay, hey, here's the deal. How much? 41. 38? That's what I'll sell it for. Probably Complete? sell it for 41, 42. Yeah. 38, yeah. 39. Put it in the bag. You want to do 39? Come on, it's before Shabbat. Have a good dinner. Thank you. Let me just do this for Shabbat first. dinner. Yeah, it's beautiful. Lunch. Remember that used to be hotter than Daytona? This? If you had that when we were going up, when we first came here, this know. was like it. That like you it. had this yeah, gold, you know, bro. You know, if you had a gold Pasha right? and a fucking Lexus G GS three hundred, <laughs> this was the <laughs> shit. the best twelve thousand for this, and it's way worth it. You don't find it on a bracelet. <laughs> Who loved their life in the nineties that much? Right? Okay, no, that was the, 90s. Are, these <laughs> cheap? are these Pasha's cheap? Are these Pasha's cheap? This is cheap. How much? This is. Cheap. I had it. I think I had it. That's in stainless steel. You know, that was my like one of my first watches I had. Twenty one hundred. Come look at watch. But I, I sell them for two. Yeah. I buy them for twelve. You know what 13. this smells like? This smells like Golden yeah, Gates, yeah. Roman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this smells like Paradis. This you get, <laughs> this you get fifty thousand. It's at one fifty two retail. Comes with a box and papers, but papers are empty. So the only thing I can tell you is that let me take this to the office and give it to Anna and show it to her clients. She has a client in Africa that buys this type of stuff. <laughs> if you want to memo this to me, I, okay. I, I would offer a lot less. I know. I but I wouldn't sell for less, if that makes sense, because yeah, makes the sense. buy and the sell, there's got to be a big gap because it's not a watch you'll sell every day. It's not really a watch. It's like, you know, a bracelet. I know. Thin. So I have, the, Anna has that clientele. She has her girls that would buy this type yeah, of no stuff, problem, like no. like in, in Dubai and stuff. So, okay. and, you know, I'll go off of your 50 price. I won't bargain with you, you know? But it's the right price. Yeah. Well, I'll just put that on a separate sheet. Aftermarket? No. How much? 85. 100? 100. You know what? I won't even bargain on this one, if this is original. We'll just, it just bought it together. I won't bargain. Can I put this away? Yes, please. Okay. To get me a bill and because I do have to go. Boys, always a pleasure. Pleasure. Nice we'll to see you. We'll see you in Miami probably, yeah? To go. Nice watch. Nice to see you. <laughs> see you guys. So that is a wrap at New York and Midtown Watches. We bought enough watches to make this trip very worthwhile. Oh, man. No mustard? Come on, you got to hit the mustard. You got to hit it with the mustard. Come on now. Adrian, what did we accomplish today? Call me in a very awkward moment when I have a lot of pretzel in my mouth. You know what? I'll put some pretzel in my mouth but and then and then you chew real quick. Mmm. I gotta tell you, this is the highlight right here. I know. Well, look. We got a guy thinking on the Grand Comp. Spent a hundred thousand, well, a hundred and one thousand by accident because somebody saw us in the street. Saw a few more friends. I paddock you, but that's cheap. I think it was price right. No, I think it was cheap. It's price right. Let's put it in the rubber band. We sold all the lines that we took with us. True story. I think people are really starting to see the value. Picked up two good items. The guy's thinking about the Grand Comp. Rolex. What Rolex? Oh, yeah, what a Rolex, too. Day date. Blue Dow. Like it. Mm -hmm. In my head, there's a lot more payables and receivables right now. That means. We have no, to. I did the math this morning. We have uh, one million, no, nine hundred and forty thousand going out, and and one point two coming in. Well, now plus five seventy. Problem is the coming in we can't control. Yeah, we can only control the going out, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But the Federal Reserve is now officially closed. Nothing we can do about it, right? Right. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Gray Market. Like, share, subscribe, comment, Instagram, Facebook, DM, text, WhatsApp, email, everything. We appreciate you all and see you next time on the Gray Market.